These are the top 5 levels I'd want to see come back in Sonic X Shadow Generations. Let's go. At number 5 we have Radical Train. I don't know if this counts because Sonic, Shadow, and Silver all go through this level, but Shadow goes through it, so we're going to put it in. I'm putting it in just because of the scenario, right? Shadow's chasing down Eggman, and what does he do? He chases the train that Eggman's in on foot, sets up barriers, kicks it up, destroys it, then gets on a motorcycle and machine guns it down. Like, why would you not want to see that come back in full HD? Like, 4k bro why would you not want to see that it actually gives them an excuse to add the motorcycle motorcycle section my bad and hopefully they do it better because motorcycle in sonic 06 was not fun to use hopefully they do it right and if they do i'll be very happy all right at number four you got westopolis it is the first level of shadow's self-titled game in my opinion this could be the start of this campaign as well as this is where shadow meets black doom initially in shadow the hedgehog and seeing as black doom is presumably back as the villain it would only make sense for the story to start here personally even though i absolutely despise that game i do enjoy westopolis quite a bit if you're going for the neutral ending the, the hero and dark missions, don't, don't play them. It's not fun. But the neutral pathway is actually pretty fun. Uh, the music was pretty interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say it was amazing, but it fit the level well, so who cares? And in my opinion, it could also be combined with Lethal Highway and Central City to make one huge level. Hopefully, they add a goal rank to Central City, as for some reason, in the original game, it didn't have an actual end. You had to either suck up 20 bombs or blow up five huge ones. But if they do this, it will be pretty cool. All right, at number three, we have Cosmic Fall. I put this level in here purely for the context. The level takes place as the arc is literally falling apart in real time. Like, how sick is that? And imagine a 4K, bro. That would be crazy. The mission you would be doing is finding the computer room. One, I want to see Vector come back. But seeing as Black Doom is presumably, again, the villain in this game, it wouldn't make sense to help him out in this mission. You would want to fight him. In my opinion, I would probably have this as the final level in the campaign. Because in the original game, if you took Vector's ending, Shadow got really depressed. But in this one, you could fight Black Doom and finish him off for good. Black Doom's done. He's never coming back. And in the, for the level's sake, I think the many bottomless pits would allow for a high skill ceiling, make the very love, making the level very replayable. My bad. Trying to get better times, find all the extra collectibles. I think it'll be pretty cool. All right, next up at number two, we have Sky Rail. I put this level in here because it's my joint favorite shadow level from SA2. This is kind of iffy because I don't know how it would work in the current day with current day Sonic Team as the rail mechanics have been very automated recently which would take away most of the fun from the original level because balancing on the rails, switching rails, that was the whole fun of the level. But if they remove the automation to make this level as authentic as possible to the original, I wouldn't see why not and I think I'd, I'd welcome it very much. And I feel like the boost mechanics with Sky Rail, with SA2 levels in general, I feel like it would work pretty well. So we have one audible mention before we get to number one and that is the Doom. The only reason this is an honorable mention is because of the situation. The level takes place on the worst day of Shadow's life. Like, why would you not want a remastered version of this? Well, it's, it's kind of depressing, but still. This is one of the biggest days in Shadow's life, and I'd want to see it come back. The only problem I have is that the level design and the missions in the original were awful, bro. It's the worst of the worst in that game. Like, saving the, the workers, I mean, our doctors, I don't know who they are, killing all the gun soldiers, even finding the gold ring. You get lost. How is finding the gold ring a problem? The thing is, if they revamp the level design to make it actually fun, by all means, put it in the game. But even me personally, I don't know how that will work because the arc is just a bunch of rooms. And with boost gameplay, I don't know how that will actually work properly. But if they do figure it out, by all means, put it in the game. And at number one, we have Radical Highway. In my opinion, this is just as fun as Sky Rail, but it has more character affiliation as it is the first level ever that Shadow was playable. I also think that revamping this level for the boost would work a lot better than for Sky Rail as the ground control hopefully isn't as automated because recently Sonic Team have been putting in millions of dash panels, a bunch of splines, like hopefully they don't make it as automated as recent games have been. Judging by the Frontiers new cyberspace levels from the, the Final Horizon, it looks like they're trying to stay away from automation as much as possible and I couldn't be happier. Again, I don't have much to say for Radical Highway, it's a peak level, peak art direction, probably my favorite shadow level of all time. Alright, that's my list. Let me know what you guys would want to see come back in Sonic X Shadow Generations.